Good morning to the children of all ages. I think our story today um, is a good one for the Easter season as it is filled with butterflies. And it is all about a place where they are looking for hope too. It is Butterflies Under Our Hats by Sandy Eisenberg Sasso. Once there was a town called Chelm where there was no luck. If something could go wrong, it did. The roofs of the houses always leaked. The sidewalks were cracked. The gardens grew only weeds. Nothing was ever right. Some people said luck comes and goes, but in Chelm's case, it never came. It only went. Others said, there is no such thing as luck. The people of Chelm were certain that luck was real and somehow they had lost it. They looked everywhere, in beds and in basements, in pant pockets and in pickle barrels, in water wells and wicker baskets. But as luck would have it, they never found any. We never have any luck, they sighed. And so they gave up. They stopped building homes, delaying repairing sidewalks and quit planting their gardens. Then one day, a strange and beautiful woman came to town. No one had ever seen her before. She wore a large purple felt hat over her red hair and a long green dress that matched her eyes. She told the people of Chelm that there was something better than luck. Better than luck? The people weren't sure they believed her, but they listened anyway. Having lost their luck, what else did they have to lose? Tomorrow at daybreak, the strange woman with the purple hat and green eyes informed the town, butterflies of hope are going to fly into the town square. If you can manage to cover the butterflies with your hats, you will have hope, and hope is better than luck. Some of the townspeople thought the woman was crazy. Nothing was better than luck, but others weren't so sure. The next morning, just as the sun began to rise, the people of Chelm, who couldn't find any luck, went into the town square to look for hope. Just as the red-haired, green-eyed woman had said, clouds of colorful butterflies appeared. They landed on the ground. For a few moments, they just sat there. Their wings fluttered softly. The people were very quiet. They gently placed their hats over the butterflies. There were, were silk, silk top hats and woolen caps, black berets and bonnets with bows. There were felt fedoras and high hats with pink polka dots. There were fancy fur hats and silly straw hats with feathers, all covering the town square. We have it, they all exclaimed. Now we have hope. But just as they said those words, it began to rain. The drizzle became a downpour and suddenly the people needed their hats. One by one, they took their silk top hats and woolen caps their black berets and bonnets with bows, their felt fedoras and high hats with pink polka dots, their fancy fur hats and their silly straw ones with feathers. One by one, the butterflies disappeared. They watched as the last person lifted his hat and the la very last butterfly flapped its wings and rose into the sky. Now, not only don't we have any luck, they sighed, we have lost hope as well. At that very moment, the red-haired, green-eyed woman appeared once again and her large brimmed purple felt hat collected the raindrops and kept her hair dry. Look under your hats, she whispered. The people were puzzled. They had seen the butterflies vanish into the clouds. They were certain that there was nothing under their hats, nothing under their black berets and bonnets with bows. The butterflies were gone and with them, their last hope. As quickly as the rains had come, they stopped. The people lifted their hats, their fancy fur hats and silly straw ones with feathers and looked inside just as they had thought. There were no butterflies. Look, they showed the mysterious woman, nothing. There is nothing under our hats. Look again, she whispered, and then disappeared. The people looked under their hats, under their felt fedoras and high hats with polka dots. They could hardly believe it. The butterflies had gone, but they had left a trace of something, a fine, faint powder.
They saw it, the trace of the vanished butterflies, and that was all they needed, hope. The people of Chelm started building houses, repairing sidewalks, and planting gardens. Sometimes their roofs still leaked and their sidewalks still cracked, but not always. Their gardens grew weeds, but also flowers. The people of Chelm no longer looked for luck. They found something much better, and it was there all along, right under their hats. And right all along, we have the love of Jesus and the hope that we find in him. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to us and giving us hope. Amen. Gage is the video.